Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we discuss the following question which says draw a histogram to represent the following data of the number of children who visited the zoo. We are given this table in which we have the age group of the children who visited the zoo and the number of children of each age group who visited the zoo. Like for the age group of 6 to 7 years the number of children who visited the zoo were 75. For the age group of 7 to 8 years the number of children who visited the zoo were 50. For the age group of 8 to 9 years the number of children who visited the zoo were 25. And for the age group 9 to 10 years the number of children who visited the zoo were 100. Now we need to draw a histogram to represent this data. Let's proceed with the solution now. To start the drawing of the histogram we first of all mark off the age groups of the children who visited the zoo on the horizontal axis. And we mark off the number of children on the vertical axis. So as you can see we have shown the age groups of the children on the horizontal axis on a uniform scale and the number of children on the vertical axis on a uniform scale. Now there is a kink near the origin which shows that the scale along the x axis does not start at the origin. Since in the table the class intervals do not start from 0. Now next we would construct rectangles with class intervals that is the age groups as the basis and the corresponding frequency which are the number of children in each age group as the heights. Now from this table we have that the number of children in the age group of 6 to 7 who visited the zoo are 75. So the class interval 6 to 7 would be taken as the base and its corresponding frequency which is 75 would be taken the height for the rectangle. So this rectangle shows that the number of students in the age group of 6 to 7 who visited the zoo are 75. Now in the same way we would construct the rectangle for the age group of 7 to 8 in which the number of children who visited the zoo are 50. So for this again we would take 7 to 8 as the basis for the rectangle and 50 as the height of the rectangle. So this rectangle shows that in the age group of 7 to 8, 50 children visited the zoo. Next, in the same way, we would draw the rectangle in which we take 8 to 9 age group as the basis and 25 as the height of the rectangle since the number of children who visited the zoo in the age group of 8 to 9 is 25. So this is the rectangle which shows that 25 children in the age group of 8 to 9 visited the zoo. Then we have 100 children visited the zoo who are in the age group of 9 to 10 years. So let us draw the rectangle to show this also. So this is the rectangle showing that 100 children in the age group of 9 to 10 years visited the zoo. This is the histogram to represent this data in which we show the number of children in each age group who visited the zoo. So we can summarize this as this rectangle shows that 75 children visited the zoo in the age group of 6 to 7 years and this rectangle shows that 50 children in the age group of 7 to 8 years visited the zoo. This rectangle shows 
that 25 children in the age group of 8 to 9 years visited the zoo and this rectangle shows that 100 children in the age group of 9 to 10 years visited the zoo. So we have made the histogram. This completes the session. Hope you have understood the solution of this question.